All right, welcome to the channel for the first time. Viewers, welcome back from my existing subscribers. I have been trying to edit on this PC for a good little bit now. I've been testing a couple of different things. I've been, you know, undervolting, changing my overclock. I mean, I used to be able to do like this was my default and I didn't really do plus 15. I actually just did zero a lot of times and every now and then I do plus 15 on the power. But I've been trying to get DaVinci Resolve to open. I just finished uninstalling it. I've done cre uh, clean installs on the driver. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to fix it. So if you're like me and maybe you want to overlay on your game so you can see what your temperatures and things like that are, for whatever reason, on the XTX and apparently on a few other AMD cards, um, after finding this, I went online to try to confirm if MSI Afterburner was the cause, and it turns out that it is, right? So here, um, it'll open up, and as you can see, it just closed. Sometimes you get like 15, 20 seconds into your edit. Sometimes you get a little further. Sometimes you can make one or two moves, but we'll try to go right back in. We can look in the, in the, you know, the project selection page, but we can't do anything else, right? So when I was trying to do this 2K video, uh, I ended up closing out everything and only launching Resolve, and that kind of fixed it. I thought that running stock was the answer, um, but it wasn't. So, again, I'm going to show you real quick. We'll try to launch this again. Give it a couple seconds here. We can click around. It closes out. So what's happening is Reva Tuner is trying to hook DaVinci Resolve, and it's causing the crash. Not the most technical person, but, you know, I was just closing out different programs, trying things one by one. And this ended up being the fix. So you'll see that I can actually get into my project now. And even though I'm recording this video, I can now click around and do everything I needed to do. So hopefully this helps you all out. I'm on the 24.9.1 drivers. Um, as you see, I did my little color grading here. I don't do anything crazy. It's just color boost and then saturation a little bit. But could not get really anywhere. The most I would be able to get to is like clicking back and forth through here. Uh, I'm just going to play this real quick so you can see. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not sure. Enemy soldier in. All right, so everything's working as it, as it should. So hopefully this helps you out. You don't have to pull your hair out. Your graphics card isn't broken. You just have to close out an MSI Afterburner. And if you didn't know, when you apply an overclock, you can close out an Afterburner and your overclock will stay. Right. So this is probably crash out in the back end. But I just opened it up again and my overclock is still here. So whether you do it through the default tool or whether you do it through afterburner some people prefer to overclock through afterburner some people prefer to use the adrenaline but again just close it out and you'll be straight so that the uh, program doesn't try to hook and uh completely crash your project so <laughs> imagine that i'm making a video and i ended up getting a video from making a video <laughs> all right i'm gonna cut out from here this one's a quick one i'll catch you on the flip be easy